Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Trello to make your team work as much efficient as you can. Th this will be some kind of uh, tutorial for beginners so you see how you can uh, set up your, uh, your templates. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account or log into our existing account at Trello. Since we are here, as you can see, we have some uh, test stuff going, but let's create our own. What we need to do, or what we want to do, we want to explore the boards, templates that are already pre-made for us, but let's create our own. What we have to do, we, ho we have to go to the top right part and click on this big plus button and we want to create a board. Board title, let's go with tutorial. And we can go and uh, switch the background. We can go with a simple one. We can use colors or photos. Let's go with something simple. Yeah, I like this one and create a board. You can get uh, quite mm, well thrown off by this empty field. So you can, uh, so you have to create this uh, template or this board by yourself. What we want to do now, we can invite more people straight away. This only me right now but we can invite like more people send in invitation uh, workspace visibility if you want to make it uh, just for workplace or public uh, we can try automations or we have a menu here for example power-ups activities and so on and so on, so on and so on. Right now, we want to enter a list title. For example, weekly to do, to do, doing, And done. As you can see, we can now, we just created four tasks or four columns for our employees or for myself to manage. For example, weekly, we have to make troll tutorials. YouTube tutorials, uh, post edits for YouTube, and I don't know, some thumbnails. Straight away, as you can see, we can micromanage those. For example, those are our weekly to do's. And by simply dragging them, we can go and upgrade them to to do or doing. For example, to do can be for today. And for example, post edits will be for, I don't know, for tomorrow, doesn't matter. Now throw tutorials, when we click on them, we can, uh, we can uh, add a description we can make an activi activity, we can uh, attach some documents from computer, for example, this logo, like this, we can just save it, save it. Uh, we can add members, for example, this guy into the description. 
you can label them uh, for example for green and it can mean uh, more things for example the green are the projects that can wait a bit or we can go with a red and get rid of green so we have to make them as soon as possible we have checklists dates attachments and so on and so on right now for to do we have to do this tutorial it's labeled red so it has to be done asap we can add a automation bet button and really a lot of stuff we can always drag it to doing and move all those cards we can add cards uh, automate them as i said before invite more people and as you can see right now it's i have a free trial but that should not be a problem straight away when we put them in done we can also label them like this one so the other people know what's going on that it's basically done you could make a template out of it yeah there's a lot of lot of stuff we have our informations notifications and also we can uh, make our we can customize our profile in the top right corner it's very easy for you and for your employees to make sense of it uh, and be more efficient in the future or in some of your tasks you can always add the cards and also we can search for them there are stickers labels activities as you can see every single activity that we uh, that we progressed in our in our tutorial bar it's listed under there so you can trace back uh, the person who made it or uh, when it was done and so on and so on so you can track the working time and all the other stuff you can change the background in the process you can go with the photos again make it like this to be really really customized by yourself well that's that's not very nice But I guess that you get it how, how it's basically tweakable. You can always go for your settings and check them uh, with all the cards and the settings for yourself. You can change language at Atlassian. For example, it's English, but there's a couple of even Slovenchina, which is my native language. Change uh, notification email frequency. Let's go with never. Allow desktop, desktop notifications. Yeah, we don't really want that. Suggestions, marketing mails, accessibility, automate.io for integrations. We can go and do uh, visits. And straight away in integrations, you see that Trello is one of the applications that you can actually integrate for example with mailchimp yeah and that's very useful stuff to do but i believe i covered those videos uh already sessions two steps verification very useful stuff if you want to stay secured uh, you can set it up even i'm using uh, nordpass so maybe that's even a good stuff for you but yeah that's about it I believe you get the you catch the grasp you can also invite your teammates connect your apps 
explore automatizations. But yeah, uh, till the end of it, Trello is very, very useful and easy to work with app. So enjoy it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.